Hi ladies, this is Laura Franklin. I'm a director with 31 Gifts out of Oklahoma. I'm so excited to be going over lead binders with you all today. This has been such a great addition to my business. Um, it's helped simplify things and just made things so much easier on the go. So I wanted to share with you what mine looks like um, and also some tips to how to uh, make them super useful for yourself as well. Um, the very first thing to go get would be a plastic binder. I have just a one inch binder. It can be any, any color that you want. I love the kind with the plastic uh, pockets on the outside so you can put a picture in, contact information, whatever you want that to look like. Uh, the next thing to purchase would be the little plastic tabs. I got these at Dollar Tree for a dollar for a pack. I think it was a pack of eight of them for a dollar. So these are great um, to have on hand, as well as the plastic sleeves. So these are great to be able to keep your papers in and keep them protected. Um, so those three things, plastic binder, the tabs, and the plastic sleeves are fantastic. First thing I have in my binder is a calendar. Um, you can print these off for free online. Um, I purchased this, again, it probably it was either Dollar Tree or Target Dollar Spot. Um, I loved it, just the fun colors, and it had all 12 months in it. But I only write 31 related things in here. So parties, any reminders that I need to do, it just kind of helps me keep stay focused on my business. So that's the very first thing that I have in my calendar. The very next thing is that my Who Do You Know list. This is just the ongoing list of contacts. Um, and as you're meeting new people, as you're meeting new hostesses, things like that, it's great to add their names here. Um, in the very same tab, I have our, the Celebrate No. This is a great way to track who you've actually talked to and um, what their responses were. So when they, if it's a no, that's great. That means you're, you're getting out there and you're asking and you're talking to people um, and that's, that's okay, that's fantastic. But this is a great place to actually write down who you've contacted and to, to make notes on, on what your conversations were. So that's in the very first tab. The second tab is, um, I actually, this is just a paper I've printed out on people that have expressed interest in hosting a party. So I don't want contact information to, to be shown there. But um, I, I literally, I just opened up a Word document, typed up a uh, name, contact number, and details, and um, just hosting a party. So it's an ongoing list of people that have expressed interest in that. And that's just a great way to kind of stay focused whenever you are looking in months ahead um, to be able to know who has expressed interest in hosting a party. Um, the very next piece is your hostess coaching checklist. So as soon as they say, yes, I want to host a party, you print out one of these sheets and you can fill in their, their party information. And this is just a great way to keep you on track for things that you need to be reminding your hostess. You can also email your hostess this form. Uh, this one is geared toward with the hostess in mind. Um, so it's a great reminder for them, kind of their steps that you'll be walking them through, but it's also another visual for them to see kind of what's coming up ahead. So next tab, we've got the list of who all's interested in hosting a party. And then as soon as they say they want to host a party, then you print off one of these with their, with their hostess information and print off and just put in as many, as many parties as you have booked. So you're always, always have that information ready and you can check off all of the steps that you guys have done. It's a great, great visual to keep, keep you organized and make sure you don't forget a step. Um, the very next tab, so I've got my divider here, is the same concept but for anyone that ha you've talked to that is interested in becoming a consultant. So the same thing, I typed up, um, typed up just a list that says joining 31, name, contact information, and details with lines, um, and that's just a great way. Anytime we have new enrollment kits or um, just any new information that new consultants or someone that is interested in that would like to know, that's a fantastic way to just write their name down. If they said, you know what, not right now, but maybe in a couple of months, you can write that, write those notes down and then you have that to go back to. Um, so you can send them a reminder or just a follow-up message um, when that time comes. The very next thing, exact same concept as your hostess coaching checklist, you've got your new consultant checklist. Um, so as soon as they decide they do want to become a consultant, print one of these off. You can enter, enter their information, um, kind of some of their likes and dislikes, what they love, how they prefer to communicate, uh, what their why is, why they, why they became a, a 31 consultant. And this is just great for you to be able to help um, your new consultants on your team be able to, to meet their own goals and to help support them in their business. So this is awesome. Um, and that's it. That's all I keep in my, in my binder. I always have some pockets just for loose, loose papers and things like that. Um, but I, this has been wonderful. I highly, highly, highly encourage that you guys, um, create a binder of your own. And like I said, this is great to throw in, um, your tote. If you are going to carpool, if you have doctor's appointments on a lunch break, just anytime you have a few extra minutes to pull this out. Um, and it just has everything all in one place and it makes it super easy. Thank you guys so much. I hope y'all are having a great day and I look forward to talking with you soon. Bye-bye.